It is 946 on this Saturday morning. Time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson, you've brought the safety glasses, so those are going on first. I did. You definitely want to put them on. We've got a fire extinguisher here, here and oh, we have super. some flames. Mm -hmm. You know, it's October. During the entire month of October, we are doing spooky science. Which is my science favorite thing all year long. Okay, and so I thought, what is spookier than ice that's on fire? What? So I have a bucket of ice there. Why don't you come closer to me over here? Okay. I'm going to give you this candle. I, oh, it always makes just, me nervous when this is on a just, giant yeah, stick. That's okay. Just okay. bring it down. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay. Bring it down near the ice, uh -huh. and let's just see what happens. All see right. if you can make ice that is, is flammable. Good? No, a little further. Okay. Right, right down next to it. Right down next to it. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Okay. No, ah. that's, that's okay. It's, it's just the ice sort of melting. Let's, we can actually just sort of leave it right oh, there. Oh, okay. All right. And oh. Ooh, womp, I think. Womp. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. It's, oh, it's gonna oh. Work. Well, no. Came it's, back. It's going to work really good uh -huh. in just a second. All right. But do I need to do anything else? Oh! No, no. That's perfect. See, wow. Okay. It, no, uh, obviously. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, ice is not flammable, so there's some sort of chemical reaction going on. There, yeah, right? come on, trickster Carl, give it up. I know. Now, it, it took a little bit of time for that reaction to start to get going, but yeah. as you can see wow, now, that's so cool. we've got spooky flaming ice. Yeah. Let me take this away from you. So let's talk about the chemistry here. So what happened was I poured a little bit of water inside there to help the ice melt, mm -hmm. and then a little calcium carbide. It is a compound that reacts with water. Okay. Okay. So if I were to add a little bit of the calcium carbide to this flask, mm -hmm. probably hard to see on the camera, but down inside there, there are little bubbles. And those bubbles that are coming off are actually acetylene gas. Okay. Yeah. And you're starting to see a bubble. I don't know if you can see it on the... Okay. Yeah, so you stand back a second. Okay. And the acetylene is actually flammable. So oh. inside here, we've got some... Oh, wow. We've got okay. some oxygen. We've got a little uh, acetylene. It's combustible. And that was the big boom you heard in the beginning. Sure, yeah. Okay. But if we wanted to, we could sort of amp this up and just dump in a whole bunch more calcium carbide and build up a lot of gas inside All right. here. I'm going to let you do this one. Oh, Go boy. ahead and light uh, that up. Okay. Can and just we bring see the, this bring Bring the flame here. We'll move this guy okay. closer to you. Okay. So the flaming ice is there. So go ahead and just uh, bring the flame right next to the okay. little port on uh -huh. the side. We've got acetylene gas inside. Ooh. And now there's no boom. Oh. Okay? It's because we've got so much flammable gas inside, it is forcing that acetylene out. It's combusting with the oxygen yeah, in the air. Thick it's black actually smoke. incompletely combusting. We'll turn that off. Okay. That's why you get that soot that's coming off. Yeah. Which will be all over the studio here. Now, so this is some of the fun stuff we do for Spooky Science okay. at the Science Center. So I thought we'd try this one more time, mm -hmm. see if we can get it to really do a big boom over <laughs> okay. here. Okay. We've got some calcium carbide. Now, is that the same stuff, just because the smell is similar, that is in um, certain fireworks? Uh, I don't think they use calcium no? carbide. Okay. They do use it for some cannons that go boom, okay. just like what you heard here gotcha. and there. Is this safe to touch or no? Um, it's fine to touch. Oh. We can, we can, we can move. I'll, I'll move it over here and you'll be fine. Okay, all right. So, here, so we have that in the bottom of this carbide. large um, martini glass. Okay. We'll add some ice on top. Uh-huh. And maybe just a little bit of ice this time. And then we'll add the water. Sure. And normally, if you let the ice sit in there, it'll melt. Okay. That will react, build up the gas. We're going to jazz it up a bit, add some water really to get it going quickly. Okay. Do you and want me then, to light your uh, candles? Yeah, go ahead and light that up. And okay. time is fine because it's just going to build up more and more acetylene okay. inside that container. You're good to go. And should we get a try? Okay. And hopefully there's enough gas bubbling up there that we can get oh, it. Oh, boy. Oh. See, it's just a <laughs> tiny one this time. That's okay. But it's always very unpredictable. Yeah, yeah, so I could see that, okay. The cool thing about this is you have those tiny little pockets of acetylene gas inside yeah. that bounce back and forth. Wow, and, and that's get, where you start to get the crackle. That's where you start to get the crackle and the boom and the burning ice, hmm. exactly. Spooky, Ooh, yeah, spooky. and you know, it actually makes a noise to it. That might be hard to hear at home, but very cool. So oh. something that uh, you'd probably need a pro to do if you wanted yeah. to do this. Come down to the Science Center and see us do this. Don't try it at home. Okay. But we have all sorts of other activities you can do at the Science Center that are appropriate for us. Awesome. Very cool, Carl. Thanks so much for coming in and making the day spooky. They have spooky science during the whole month of October. They have certain experiments going on. Oh. Uh. Just like that. <laughs> Every single day there's something fun happening down there through Halloween, so you can go check them out. Carl, thanks for coming in and uh, keep me on my toes as usual. We're going to send it over to the guys. They have a check of sports.